Good morning everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are looking at a probability tree diagram. It's one of the methods used to calculate probabilities in year 9, year 10, year 11, year 12 and even up to year 13. Okay, we shall look at the probability tree. So the probability tree has branches. So these are the branches. These are all also branches. Two or more events, so event 1 and event 2. And at the end of the event, we have the outcome. And the probability is indicated at the side of the branches. So for example, uh, we need to know that in each branch, they must add up to 1. That's the first rule. If this is 0 0.4, this must be 0 0.6 because these two must add up to 1. So if this is 0 0.5, this must be 0 0.5 because the branch add up to 1. And if this is 0 0.8, that must be 0 0.2 because they add up to 1. The next rule we need to know is how to calculate the outcome. So for outcome AC, to calculate the probability, to calculate probability, we put a P, probability of AC. To do that, we multiply the numbers that lead to the branch, 0 0.4 times 0 0.5, that will give you 0 0.2. Similarly, you want to get probability of AD. What you do, you multiply 0 0.4 times 0 0.5. Again, it is 0 0.2. To get BC, the BC, so the probability of BC, you multiply 0 0.6 times 0 0.8. You use the calculator, is uh, 0 0.48. And the last one, 0 0.6 times 0 0.2, to get the probability of BD, you multiply them, is 0 0.12. The other rule is that all possible outcome in probability, they're going to add up to 1. So all this probability is going to add up to 1. And if that's add up to 1, then you are right. So I repeat again. So if you want to get the probability of the outcome, AC, you multiply this number with that number. And if you want to get AD, you multiply 0 0.4 with 0 0.5. If you want to get BC, 0 0.6 times 0 0.8. And to get BD, you multiply 0 0.6 times 0 0.2. Sometimes they would ask you to calculate the probability of D. So probability of D happens here, AD or BD. So what you do is you get these two numbers, 0 0.2 or 0 0.12. You add the two numbers. So it's going to be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.12 and the probability of D is 0 0.32 because it could either be AD or it could be BD. We shall look at one of the two questions from the NCA level 2 and it's a bit long so I'm going to shorten it. Okay, so the question sounds like this. Based on the data uh, in the past 7 years, it's wet on 45 of percent of the days in Ashburton. If it is wet in Ashburton, the probability that it's also wet in Timaru is was 63%. If it was dry in Ashburton, the probability that it's also dry in Timaru will be 88%. Okay, so we should, before we even calculate the probability, we are going to draw the tree diagram. So again, we are going to put event 1. So event 1 is Ashburton and event 2 is Timaru. And of course, the last one is the outcome. So as a tree diagram, we are going to draw the tree. So it could be either wet or dry. And Timaru could be wet or dry, wet or dry. The next step we're going to do, we are going to put the outcome. So wet, 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 dry, dry, wet, and dry, dry. So now we have done it, we're going to put in the probability now. So they say 45% is wet in Edgerton, so 0 0.45. So this must be 0 0.55, because they must add up to 1. Similarly, the next part is that if it's wet in Edgerton, so it's wet in Edgerton, the probability that it's also wet in Timur is 0 0.63, so that must be 0 0.63. And then if you minus them is going to be 0 0.3737 37 plus 0 0.63 is going to add up to 1. And then the next line, if you dry in Edgerton, okay, uh, the probability that is also dry in Timur is 0.88, so 0 0.88 here. And to get 1, you minus 1 from it is 0 0.12. That's done. And now the next step we're going to do is to answer the question. The first question is find the probability that is both dry in Ashburton and Timaru. So what you're going to do, you're going to calculate the probability both dry. So what you're going to do, 
you multiply 0 0.55 multiplied by 0 0.38 so 0 0.55 multiplied by 0 0.88 put in your calculator and the answer is 0 0.484 that will give you an achieve okay now we look at 484 now we're going to look at the second question find one of the town is wet so to get wet it's either one edge button is wet and timber is dry or edge button is dry and timber uh, is wet so you're going to add the probability here 0 0.45 times 0 0.37 i have no spaces so i'm going to multiply that and then that is uh, 0 0.45 so we're going to put one, uh, 0 0.45 multiplied by 0 0.37 or you add them up uh, edge button is dry 0 0.55 multiplied by timer wet 0 0.12 put in your calculator and then you, your answer is going to be 0 0.2325 and again that is an achieve we shall re read the question as part of enrolling in a medical clinic new patient undergoes health screening test one of these involves the amount, measures the amount of blood cholesterol to identify whose patient has heart disease or non heart disease. So, the first event is going to be heart disease and no heart disease. Then, the second event is cholesterol levels greater than 200 mg per deciliter suggest the patient may have heart disease. So, the second event is whether the cholesterol level is more than 200 or less than 200. Okay, once we have this probability tree, we are going to put in the numbers. So approximately 5% of the New Zealand population are known to have heart disease. So heart degree is 0 0.05. Not heart degree is 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.95. Then they say of the heart disease, 73% have cholesterol more than 200 milligrams. So 73 have more than uh, cholesterol level more than 200 so 27 percent or 0 0.27 have less than 200 similarly those with no heart disease 76 percent have cholesterol less have cholesterol 200 milligram or less so 0 0.76 less than 200 milligram and to have more is 0 0.24 once you have done the probability tree, it's very simple and we are going to calculate the probability. So they say, out of the 100 individuals who were screened from the test, approximately how many would you expect to have a cholesterol level greater than 200? So we are looking at this cholesterol more than 200 and cholesterol more than 200. So what you do, the same thing, just like level 1 and 2, you multiply the probability that leads to it. So you take 0 0.05 times 0 0.73 is 0 0.0365 add with 0 0.95 multiplied by 0 0.24 and that is 0 0.28 add them up together is 0 0.2645 that is not good enough because you need to calculate the expected value if you have learned in level one again expected value is number of trials times probability so there are 100 individuals times the probability give you 26.45 but you cannot have 26.45, so it might be a whole number. According to the marking schedule, you can accept both 26 or 27 people, and that will give you an achieve in question one.